Hello, uh, yes, Ego Congress participants. Uh, I came and you cannot see my, uh, you know, face because instead of putting my face, I put my PPT file because it would help more to you know, let you understand this lecture. Let me give you the, the title of this lecture. It is Chop and Hold Stones. So can you uh, guess what that means? Uh, it's not easy, right? So that's why instead of putting my uh, face, I put uh, the PPT file, so you're gonna enjoy it. This is in fact the lecture that I already mentioned in 2019 US Congress that I'm going to prepare a bit more of it and show it in, in the year after. But I couldn't go, but still, uh, luckily I got a chance to show this lecture uh, through this you know, online, that's nice. Okay, so uh, the chop and hold stones, uh, before I start, maybe I should uh, introduce myself a bit more. Okay, so please look at the PPT file, you can see. Uh, I'm the Eitan uh, amateur player. I was in Insei in uh, you know, Korean Yongguseng uh, and, uh, for like five years. And I went to uh, Europe in 2005. And since then, uh, I stayed here and uh, teach the mostly Europeans, but also US people as well. Yeah, I was in the Korean Yongseng for five years, and then I went to the Meungji University uh, Go Department, and I worked as a TV commentator in the Baduk TV. I think many of you already know the Baduk TV stuff. And I'm, uh, so I'm Eitan, so I'm not pro. So you don't know the, my level. Uh, I was on the first of the European rating list for five years, 2013 to 2018. Uh, which means that I was a uh, heading uh, of uh, all the, the European pros. So I played many games against them and um, yeah, the result was good. So maybe that's the reason why I was in the first place. But 2018, uh, from 2019 and now I'm the third. And it doesn't mean that the European two players, uh, the pros uh, over me, as the first two uh, are the Korean players, uh, Young Sam Kim and Song Jin Kim, the two Kims, they over me and they are the first two. But I like this position because I hired them in my online go school. So I'm the third who is hiring the first and the second. So, you know, I think it is better than the, better than first, isn't it? So <laughs> only, only third, but yes, I'm, I'm staying in that position. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm strong enough to, to give you, to share the, my ideas. And most of my lectures are like that. Uh, it doesn't mean that I teach something new. Uh, the, the topics, what we're going to study tonight as well, you know uh, each skills that I'm going to share, but maybe that are just floating on your goal brain. So I try to settle them down in the, the right place so you can use it in the right moment. So. You enjoy it. Okay, let's start huh, from the, the first one. Mm -hmm. Please look at this corner. Why is three stones in the corner is in danger? Is it? it looks more like that. So in the actual game, this happened in my uh, you know, uh, Go student and they didn't play anything here. Okay. Later they use as the cause word, but anyway, let's say that there could be something. Then what is your first idea? that you want to play for. First idea must be like blocking, is it? Okay, let's try to save it. But like gonna connect, is it? And after this, void maybe blocks it. And then how to kill this one? You don't even need to play because it is a dead shape. Okay? So it means that there's no way to save it, right? No way. Okay, so maybe white tries like this one. Okay, let me bring these two stones out and try to kill. But still, it's not working, right? Even if I play like that, still, it's a dead form. However, there is a magic that white can make it possible, which is this one. White cuts, but you know, what is this? Black can just play Atari, so it's not working. It looks Black's group become even stronger, 
Well, you need to play Atari and Black just captures it. So, okay, it looks alive. Black shape is even better. But this black shape is not as good as this one. That is the lecture topic okay, that we're going to check for one hour is this one, exactly. Because this shape, when you see, then this is like one big, uh, uh, the chunk, is it? This is one big group, which are all connected, is it? All connected. We can say that it is just one piece. Uh, let's say this is like a Lego block. You know, everybody knows Lego, right? It's like a Lego block, big Lego block that, you know, it's not easy to break it, right? But if you cut this one and let your opponent play this Atari here in Capture, then this with seven stones are not the same stones because this one, this one, this one, you can see the square stone and the uh, uh, triangle stones and the round stones. These are separated. It's connected, but separated. So that is quite important. Okay. So let's see this PPT file. There is a Lego block, you see, right? And there's another Lego block like that. So two, separated two different pieces, but we gather them, is it? We attach them like this. Then is it one or two? Okay. Do you see the two Lego blocks or one Lego block? It's, no, it's one, but two. It's like a philosophy, you know, philosophical question, right? It's one, but two, two pieces. It's two pieces, but one, right? One big piece, yes. So if I ask it, uh, could you separate it? Could you split them? Then you would say that, yeah, it's easy, right? But just imagine that this was in fact one block. Uh, you know that this kind of thick blocks, okay? that it is, let's say just one block, then can you split it? Must be quite tough, right? But uh, it is like that. This, uh -huh. look at the, the Govan. When you just block here and let your opponent connect, then this black group is just one big piece that it would be very difficult to block it or you know, split it, isn't it? It's just one big, you know, strong block. But if you cut, then it looks black group becomes stronger. But in fact, this group gets weaker because they are three. Is it? So why can now play this one and threat that black can, uh, why can come like this? You know, the call, the nasty one. If black connects, then there will be a huge call. So black need to endure this call, but let's say black cannot. So black steps back, then white captures. Black still cannot, then steps back, white can save it. So there will be a, a, the call. And if black connects, white can save it, right? But in case white plays here, black connects, then there will be nothing. Okay. It's you know just one little idea, is it? That you just cut once and it works. So this one too, look at the lower right corner. Black group is in, in danger. It seems black does need it, is it? So let's say actual game, black play this one to expand the eye space. So white answered. And after that, black, in fact, uh, is quite busy because to play this one is quite uh, important. Uh, black had to play this one in the game and white got a chance to extend and attack the, the middle group. But uh, can black Tanuki? It would be great. But white gonna play Hane? Then it's a dead form, okay? That's dead or here, white can come. So that is also dead. However, if what if black plays this honey? And let's say white plays here, black plays here, white answers. It's same. There's no point difference, no big point difference. And in this case, black and tenuki. What's the difference? In this position, white can play honey to kill it. But in this position, if white plays honey, black gonna play this one and let white play this atari and white cannot connect. If it, the under the stone situation comes like this. So here, the reason why black can survive in this case, but the other case not, it's because black got a chance to separate this A to B. 
So this A and B, is it one or two? It's one, but two. Is it? It's two, but one, because it's connected. I'm not asking that you can separate this B and kill it. No, it's connected, just like the Lego block that you can see on the left side. Is it? So that is one, but two, two, but one. So like this, if you chop your opponent's stones and make it in a different, you know, the many uh, pieces, then you take more power, you take more advantage. So that's why the lecture, the name of the lecture is chop and hold. Uh, sometimes, you know, hold uh, phase comes. So we're going to study that too. Okay. Chop, it's cut, is it basically cut? But you need to more like chop it, chop in, you know, chop to make it many in many pieces. So chopped uh, as many as possible like this. Okay, can you follow this idea? Uh -huh. Because black like, split this A and B, like got a chance to get it. Here, white extends, so it's completely connected. It's one big piece of the Lego, so there's no way. And this one too, uh, black stone. Now you can guess uh -huh. how black can handle this. What should black do? If black just steps in, why gonna play here to save it, right? But instead, if black plays this one, which, you know, choke, right? Black plays here, now separate this A and B. Uh, you're just, you know, crazy and say instead, okay, I play this one, so A and B are separated. Then your opponent will say that, oh, you're crazy. No, A, B are not separated. You said that this A, B are two, but no, it's one because it's connected. But you just keep saying that, no, it's two. Okay. Then your opponent, okay, answers like this and you step in, then uh, you can see that why cannot law because black can take it, right? Uh -huh. So that one, that is the only way. Uh, even though this A, B are connected, you cut, uh, you chop this, stones, then you can hold this. You hold it so your opponent cannot block that A8. So that is working. So it is like that, exactly the same. So even if your opponent has one more uh, piece like that, look at the, the Lego block there. Is it strong? If it is one block, one piece, then it is very strong. That it will be very difficult to break it, separate it, or split it. But if it is three, maybe four, five, doesn't matter. You can easily split it, right? So you need to make your opponent go stones as many pieces as possible. Then your opponent's stones get weaker and you got a chance. Okay. So that is the way. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's do it. Uh -huh. We can do some practice. Uh, there are several places, but let me start with the easy one. Look at this A seven stone, uh, six stones. Oh. Is it possible for white uh, black to get it? Let's say black goes in a naive way that, okay, let me cut it. If my opponent doesn't answer, I can cut. Then why well, gonna connect, of course. Okay. So it's uh, not working. But instead, if black choke, if black chokes, you can already see where the, the choke point is. The chopping point is this one, right? Mm -hmm. Black plays here. Why need an answer? And black cut. <clears throat> okay, why need to play here Atari? Then you see that white cannot connect. Yeah, it's because white uh, black chop white stones, therefore, uh, white is separated in many pieces. Now this A and B are uh, it's one, but two, is it? So that's why you got a chance to cut it. Okay, so this one, that is the, the simplest one. Let's see the, the bottom line, the bottom area. Can you find the way that Y could do something? Chop, chop, so how to chop it? You can find the first chopping point, right? Which must be, L3, okay, black need to connect. And then,
Y should go, let's say Y goes L2, like this one. Ah, it looks like I can cut A and I can cut B2. Then black gonna connect, is it? And Y tries to cut it, but it's not really working anymore. It's because you couldn't chop. When you go down here, black connect and make this as one big piece, is it? That is one big piece, therefore, oh, there's no good continuation. But instead, if you chop again, it's cut, but also chop. Black answers, and white plays Atari, and black captures. Then compared to this one, which stone you look, it's uh, stronger. Is this four stone stronger, or this capture stone looks stronger? This capture stone looks even stronger, right? But it's not true, because why can use one more sente? Why well, doesn't even need to use that sente? Why well, plays hane? Then uh, black is in trouble. Okay. So that is working. Black blocks. White plays atari. So connect, and white can take it. And if black captures, then white can take it. That three stones cannot go home. It's because that was not really connected. Uh, after white cuts here to make this position, this A, B, C, three stones are split in three blocks, three pieces. Therefore, it was weaker than one block. Okay. So chop your opponent's stones. Uh, then you can get uh, lots of uh, chances. There are plenty more, but we are short in time. So we are going to pass it. Uh -huh. okay. So like that, uh, in you know patterns as well. You know, this is the, one of the most often played patterns after here, after Atari here, where should I go? When this pattern comes at uh, the first, many people got misunderstood and play this one. Then black connects. So after black connects, you can see that this turns as one really big and strong piece. So quite difficult to do something against this. However, if you cut an answer here, then these three stones are weak. Is it? Uh, black can play Atari if the letter is working, or OK, cannot, then black need to play here. So if you cut this, then these are connected for now, but you're holding it because it's not 100% connected. It is a one, but it's two. Okay. It's two, but it's one, OK but more like it's one, but two. Okay. But this one, it's one. That's it. We cannot say that there, is, there are you know, two blocks. Okay. It's only one. Okay. And this one too, uh -huh. let's say black played Hane. Uh, this was one of my students game. When black plays here, let's say why just answers to take this uh -huh. because there is a weakness why need an answer. Then black gonna connect, right? Black connects, then there's no way to do something against this black four stones anymore because it is you know, strong. It's one big piece. So instead, it's quite obvious, but still, if I cut once and then answer, then to save this one stone must be quite tough because this A, B are not the same material anymore as Y cut. Okay. So it is like that. Your opponent has a nice toy and you don't like it. So you just break it. When you break your opponent's toy, it takes like a second. But to recover that broken toy from your opponent's side, it takes you know, an hour to recover it. Or it? Well, sometimes you need to buy the new one. So it costs and it takes time, isn't it? So break. Your opponent, you need to break your opponent's uh, stones, your opponent's toy like this. So what are the ways to make your opponent's stones uh, well split? Okay. How to chop your opponent's stones? We already studied uh, the one, which is quite easy. Look at the upper right area. White is connected, right? Black plays here, white connects, okay. Black goes down, white cuts, wow. okay, connected. But yeah, you may have a crazy idea. Uh, white has, you know, Four liberties here, is it one, two, three, four. And you call it, oh, you have four liberties. 
but I think I can kill this. So let me make it to three with this chop. Then your opponent would say that, oh, you're crazy. I have you know, three liberties and I can even take your stone. So it's not working at all. And you say that, okay, now I call the two and now I call, uh, I call three and I call two, but like this one. Then oh, you're crazy again because it's not working. I can just take it. But after this, black can play here to cut this group. Okay. Therefore, instead of this one, maybe why need to block it? But then black cut, there will be the snap back. So why need to capture the other one? Then black can cut it. So it looks like a crazy idea that black just cuts this one. And it's directly, you know, uh, dead. Why just play Satari? But because of this, you know, the chopping point, black just chop and chop like this, it works. And that is the only way that black can break it. If you play like this one, because it doesn't look like the very, you know, nice Tetsuji type move, then we can just connect to make this as, you know, one big piece. After this one big piece, you know, not working like this. So this chop is very important, a bit. chop, chop, chop. And look at the lower right corner. White has two black stones, a bit. that two stone is dead. Okay, the two stone is dead. Don't look at this because it is in a wise area. Look another place. But no, huh? you can kill it. But how to kill? I mean, okay, let me try to kill it. White plays a tardy. It's not working. Okay. Black play here, white can play a tardy. Ah, so should I move it like this? Akiya, Atari, and Hane. Ah, but I can still throw in an Atari, not working. But instead of this one, you can chop. So where's chopping point? The chop point is this one. You chop this five stones and the one stone. Why need an answer? And that's it. You already did everything you needed. And you play Hane. Because of this chop, you, you hold it. You hold this wise A group. Because of this exchange, if it was not exchanged, why would I play this Atari, right? But with this one little chop, your opponent cannot play this one anymore. Therefore, you can get the chance to take it like this. Okay. Like that, sometimes it comes as the Damesumari way, sometimes it's simple cut, or sometimes, you know, uh, uh, snap back. So that kind of skills, you know it, but it's not easy to make it uh, in the, the right timing because that are just floating in your go brain. If you set them down with this idea, then you can use it in the right moment. Okay. Okay. So that one. And now we can look the, the left side. Uh, why stones are connected? But it is like that. Look at the, the Lego piece that are connected. So we can say that it is one. But someone would say that, no, 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 it's three. We cannot say that it is one because it's three pieces it's, okay, connected, but basically three different materials, we can say. Is it? So here too, there are some weaknesses that you can see, right? And what can Black do? Black should play this one. White cut, is it? That is already a chop that you cut this A and B, right? And it's not enough. You need to chop again. And where's the chopping point? You can see the goal players, they are, you know, very uh, like uh, uh -huh, ready to uh -huh, chop uh -huh, and cut many of stones. Is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. And then Black plays Han, eh? Now you see the same situation came as the lower right corner. White, uh, black cut this white A stones, so hold it and got a chance to kill it. Okay. So first uh, skill to chop your opponent's stones is very simple, it's cut. Okay. So uh, there's another metaphor that I can explain. Uh, there is a, uh, okay, this one, you see the difference that these are two, uh, the, pieces that you can see that it's same. If you see this with the distance, then it's just same, right? But if you come close and look at it, then 
uh, you will see that the right one is way more difficult, uh, way easier to separate it. To, to separate, split this left side one must be quite tough, okay? but the right side is easy. So here's the log. So when you see this log, I ask it, okay, please uh, split them. Can you split it? So when we want to split this, then we don't do this right away, but what we do, uh, what do we do? We make this you know, very strong log like that, is it? So now it become a bit you know, weaker. And then uh, step one, very strong, step two, so you chop it. And then step three, take your food like this. But many Go players, they try to go to the, the third step from the first directly but that's not working, right? So you shouldn't try to go over one to three. You need to take the second step. And that is the chop idea, okay? So chop your opponent's stones. Okay? Uh, even more hungry, okay. So the first uh, skill to chop your opponent's stones is of course cut. Uh, we are checking a bunch of examples. Look at this uh, right side one. Black's turn, what should black do? Uh, when you see this, then you can see that it's you know, symmetric shape. So when, if I ask this without this you know, chop and hold lessons, then they jump here directly. That, ah, you know what? This jump is a very good move because in case I defend for this area, then black cuts to play this one. So can take these five stones, is it? That five are dead. So same way. If I place for the other one, then black can play this one. So same, yeah, why is group is that? However, why can block it? And it's not working. So instead, what black need to do is cut, which is chop. Why need an answer? Chop. Why need an answer? And jump. Then it is working. Black need to have this process before jumping this, right? which is Tetsuji. Right? After taking it, you can hold this wise A and B groups with this cut. So that's why it is not the lecture, chop stones, chop and hold. You need to have this feeling. If you chop your opponent's stones, you can hold your opponent's hands, uh, your opponent's stones, okay? So that is the feeling, okay? So I'm here to share the feeling. I'm not sharing the techniques. You already know how to cut. You're the goal players, right? But you need to have this feeling to make it. Ah, I chop my opponent's stones to make it weaker and hold it. Okay. <laughs> and the lower side as well. Oh, my group A is in, uh, she is in danger. So I need to do something. So what do I need to do? I, of course, need to go down. Then why connects? So it's not working. Why is it not working? What is the, you know, the fundamental reason that we can say that it's not working? Because white connects and make this as one big piece, which include four liberties and you have three. So that's why it is not working. That's why, even though it looks like a crazy idea, you give one stone and say to your opponent that, oh, I separate your stones. That's a crazy idea, isn't it? Who can say that, okay, I cut here, even though my stone is dead, your stone is separated, whatever. No, is it? But that works in Go, but really working. And after this Atalis, these three are one, but it is three, okay? So if you face the, the people who say that, oh, this is of course, you know, one, because it's all connected, then you should say, no, it's three, because in some said that it is three and I can kill you, okay? Please do it. Because now it is three, is it? Black goes down, and black plays here, then black can kill it. That the ponduki shape looks much stronger than this connection, but it is not true. So when you see this, you should feel that it is much weaker. Okay. So that feeling is what I want to share. It. Okay, there are a bunch of uh, cuts, but we are short in time, so we will pass it because we already got to know many of it. Uh -huh. uh, let me just show this one. This is one of my uh, students' games, uh, my student, like this one, that looks a bit too far, is it? However, 
why play this one and here and why try? But as you can see, Black survived and it was quite good with Black Erasure's lots of points. However, in fact, it was a overplay. So how would you punish it? How to punish? White play here, black attach it. And there is a crazy idea that, okay, uh, these A and B are connected, isn't it? It's connected, of course, A and B are connected because the two stones are dead inside. But you may say to your opponent that, oh, it's two, uh, it's one but two because it's not completely connected. So, okay, I go down, I'm going to kill you. And your opponent will say, oh, there is another crazy guy, is it? Black need to block it. And okay, I'm, I'm going there. And black blocks it. What's this? And cut. Then, if black takes this simply, then white can play one Atari, which makes this block possible, is it? Black may connect underneath like this, but this must be you now the core, right? So, not easy. So instead of this one, mm -hmm. after white, there's no other option, is it? White plays here, white cuts, what to do? Black need to play Atari, like this one, to exchange like this. Uh, and then maybe black goes. Uh, maybe black answers here once and goes uh, crazy. Is it? But instead of this one, white can simply, when black plays Atari, white can play this one. Then black goes, then white can kill, mm -hmm. like this. So after here, black must answer, and white can block it, and white just swallow them. Okay. So that is working. So there are many mm -hmm, interesting stuff which works with this cut. So the simplest and most often played way to chop your opponent's stone is cut. And the second is coming. This is kind of famous problem. Uh, you know, black stone, black group A is surrounded and it's Bad. There's only one eye, but if you are stronger than the like a strong Q, sing, strong you know single digit Q level, you already feel that there is something. Okay, where is something? Why is these pieces are one? Is it? These are all connected, isn't it? But in fact, these are not connected. If it is connected, really connected like this one, then you just okay, don't look at it. There's nothing you can do. Okay? There's nothing. However, it's not perfectly connected. Then it is not one Lego block. These are the Lego, it's like a Lego that it's connected with four pieces. So four pieces connected, then you won't say that it is strong because you can easily split it. Okay? So what is the, the first move? P17, is it? That one, wedge. So the second skill, what you can chop your opponent's stone is wedge. You wedge here, why need to block it? And what's the second skill? You need to chop again. So there's no way to wedge, but there is a chop point. Black can chop here. Why need to connect? And black goes down here. Why need an answer? And black can chop again. Because if you connect, your opponent connects and there's nothing. Okay? So this is the way that you can chop it again. White must capture, you play Atari, and white cannot connect. Okay? So that is working. Okay. So at some point, white need to give up the two stones so black can save it, like this one. Okay. So this one, that is the first move. After wedge, you can finally get a chance to make this a, B, C, D, E as the different uh, the material. It's not connected. If your opponent says that, oh, that five pieces are all connected, it's one, then you should say, no, it is five. So I can chop it and uh, I can eat them. Okay. So cook. So if you have an ing uh, ingredient, let's say you, you bought the uh, carrot or cucumbers like that, then would you just eat it right away? No, you chop them. Is it? You chop them and then eat it. You cook and eat it. But when I see Go players, they just try to eat uh, directly. But no, it's not working. You need to chop it. You need to cook your opponent's stones and eat it. 
That is the way. And how to cook it? Choke. How to choke, cut, wedge. And there are some more. Look at the bottom side. What should black do then? You can feel the chop idea, is it? Because that's three, A, B, C, uh, no, no, F, G, H are not one yet. When you see this one, you should feel nothing. Okay, there's nothing. But when you see this kind of shape, you should feel that, ah, there must be something that I can cook it. Okay. The cook one is this one, wedge. Uh -huh. Why need to block it? Okay. And black goes down. Why need to block and black cuts? Okay. We can say that, oh, it's a dames mari. It's dames mari, is it? So you know the dames mari, but can you find the dames mari in your game? Not easy because you have that ideas, but it's just floating. It's not settled down. Okay? And you can settle down with this idea. You can gather them with this one idea, which is chop and hold. So the wedge is the one, and there are plenty of it. Uh, look at the upper right area first, upper right. Black's five stones, A is in the dead situation, but there is a way to save it. Can you see? You need to chop your opponent's stone to take it. Let's say, ah, I can push. Maybe I can you know, take three stones. Then your opponent would just connect, is it? Instead of this one, what should black do? Black should play this one. That is the chopping point. Why plays this? Black goes, then black can take uh, that five stones. Because you can uh, eventually, with this one, you can separate all these four stones uh, in the you know, different you know, separated pieces. Okay? So that is wedge. Uh, here too, uh, look at the upper left area. Let me kill Y connects. Not working. Therefore, you need to chop this A and B, uh, the B and C. How to chop it? Wedge. That wedge is uh -huh, often a very good uh, idea mm -hmm, to get it. And the bottom side as well. Uh, it's a lot more difficult problems than the, the first two, but you know the idea, is it? What's the, the way to kill? What way to save black six stones and kill Y seven? You need to chop it. You push Y connects, not easy. Ah. So instead of this one, you need to play this one. That is the chop point. If I block, then black plays Atari and connect. So white is dead. If I play here, black plays the other Atari and here. So get one eye, white doesn't. So I can kill it like this. Ah. So wedge, we can see. If you solve this, then it means that you are the master of this. First two parts. Black's group is in the dead position. What should uh, Black do? Here, connect. This is the worst move. Is it? Zero chop idea makes this. But if you have the chop idea, you first watch here. And then, OK, I watch. So there should be something I can do. Still not. Even though it is a self capturing move, you should cut it because this cut makes this a b a separated group but that is a crazy idea because why can kill it is it why can kill it but still you should do it because if you don't do then why connects and make this as one big block is it one big block so there's no way that you can do you cannot break the one big leg of lock is it but if you separate it in two pieces why need to play this one and black goes down? White must capture and black plays Atari and cut. So it is working. So in this case, wedge and cut. So if you combine the two first chop ideas, then you can make it. And there are some more of chop, chop, chop. Uh, this one, you know, that is the, one of the most famous game ever, right? So where did uh, Lisa Do play it? It was difficult to understand why Lisa Do all of a sudden played this one. But now you, you understand, is it? What makes him playing this one? Because he had the chop idea. 
he thought that if I play this one, then I could chop these stones in this you know, crazy situation. Even in that moment, this chop idea came in his mind and he made it. So yes, AlphaGo game for the divine move. The divine chop, yes, exactly. So same, same feeling made this, okay? So if you master this chop, then I'm sure that you can even find uh, your own uh, divine move like this, okay? So this is the, the maximum level of chop in this wedge part. It in fact doesn't work, but uh -huh. so this is one of my games. My opponent played this Hane. Okay, you see that my I'm, I was white. I'm in the you know the weak position. My A group is weak and B as well. So my first idea was of course Hane, like need an answer. Then ah, I need to uh, handle these two separate groups. So instead of this one, you guess what I played. First, you can find it. Okay? The corner, why well, can play this one to save the group, but it isn't really great to save the, the group in this way. So why cannot do? The first, why well, plays this one? Okay. I cut and my opponent extend, and then this one. Okay. So this is the chop idea. I play here because I want to, you know, mm -hmm. chop it. There's no other way to explain what makes me play this moves. Chop, chop, chop. So after that, I got a chance to cut and capture this in center. Okay. Black had to go down, white corner group is safe, so I had a chance to go. After taking this you know, corner, like this. Okay. So chop, mm -hmm. that is the, the combination of the cut and wedge. Mm -hmm. okay. And we're going to the, the third one. Mm -hmm. This is quite a famous problem. So I think many of you know it. Uh -huh. Where should black play to do something? In case black does it well, then black can kill the whole group or this A. How many stones is it? Uh, nine stones. So think about it. But before that, we should check this one. Okay. Can you save this black group? First idea, oh, capture, isn't it? And why connects? Oh, I take two stones, but I have only one eye, so it's dead. So, okay, instead of this one, maybe I should play like here, uh, like this, and capture, okay, uh, not working. Throw in, uh, not working, like this. But here, you can chop stones. Can you see the chop here? Uh, how to chop that connection? This A stone and B stone, is it connected? Is this dog gonna move connection connected? It is not. It's not really connected. But I can play this one. That is another skill, which is, it's also called wedge, is it? Wedge-ish, but it's not really wedge. And I made a new name and I share it with my you know, online Go School members. Uh -huh. So I'm going to share it later. Why well, need to play this Atari and black goes down? And after that, black can play here, throw in, so can save it. Okay. So this is the, the way that black can save, this one. And uh, look at this shape, uh, this one. Uh, can you save the, the A group, A group here? Black can play like this one, okay, to look for making eye spaces there, then white gonna connect. Uh -huh. And oh, black cannot save it, okay? So to save this one, black need to chop this wise two stones, B and C. How to chop it? The misclick wedge, okay, this one. That is the, the way. Uh -huh. Because why need to cut, then black plays this one and Atari. So these are sent there, uh, no Atari, black should play here, then black can save it. And here, uh, Upper side as well. If black goes down, then white can play here to kill. If black plays here, white plays Hane to kill. So black need to play this one to save it. And the low left corner, black need to play this one to save it. Uh, that is working and go down. And here it's white's turn. Let's say white, your opponent plays this one and you have only one eye. A is the eye space, but B is not the eye space yet, is it? 
So how should black uh, save it? You can already feel this, is it? The good move here is this one. If black plays here, then black can kill it. The wedge is a bit different. We already checked the lots of wedge cases that uh, the wedge is this one. In the jumping two stones, you put the stone in between, that is wedge. Okay? And this one, it's a bit different than that. This is uh, pinch. Okay? It's like, like pinch way to do it. A bit different, uh, but it comes between the you know, uh, diagonal move connection, Kosumi connection. Look at the upper left area. Lex Tetsuji to save this whole group, which has only one eye around A. Uh, the good move here uh, is, can you find the pinch here? The, this is really like the stronger than five down level. Uh, the only way for Black to save is this one, yeah. that one. This is the move that Black can look for chopping this all wise you know, stones. These are not perfectly connected yet, is it? And that is the one. And look at the lower left area, because we are short in time, I need to go quick. To kill this group, this is the only option. If black plays here, black can survive and can even kill white group. Okay. This is also chopping, uh, these two. Okay. And the lower right corner, black, if black tries to save it, cannot save. Uh, like here also, uh, cannot save. But if black plays this one, then black can save it. Okay. That is pinch, that you put the stone inside between the, the diagonal move uh, connection. So here, can you feel it now? So it doesn't mean that you need to read everything, just feel that where does look like the, the right move, only by feeling. The right move here to do something is this one, that one. If I connect, black can play here to separate it like this. And if I connect it, then black can push like this one to cut it. So if you can imagine this one, then it means that you are ready to go. Okay. And the last one, I still have one, okay. So we pass, we pass. Uh, I need to show this one for sure. Uh, when white plays this one, mm -hmm. black, you know, you see that white tries to separate black's group. So black attach it too, and white cut. So you see that black's group is in danger, but there is a very fascinating skill that black can get lots of points in this area. But definitely black is in danger, right? So what can black do? The good move here uh, is cut, which is chop. Why need an answer? Black steps in. Why need an answer? And then uh, now you need to find the right move. Can you find? C5, no, not that. The good move here is this one, working. If I cut, then black plays Atari, so why can I connect? So if I place something else, then black plays this Atari to take this one, okay? So take this whole group. Mm -hmm. ah, right, but this time, in, in fact, this happened. Ah, it's one of my students who played it in the rear game from this one, really. This one and card and then card and, and play this one. This really happened. Okay. Because he learned how to chop it. Okay. okay. And uh, the last one uh, is coming because there are four skills that you can make it. Uh, but uh, let me go quick. Uh, look at the, the right side. Uh, can you kill that five stones? Uh, six stones. That is kind of easy question, is it? What can black do? Black can throw in, is it? Throw in and step in, then you can kill it. It's very you know, easy skill. If you just step in, why gonna connect? So there are only three pieces, A, B, C, three pieces, which why can survive like that. But if you throw in and play here, then there will be four pieces, one, two, three, four, is it? Three pieces, four pieces. Therefore, you can kill it. 
your opponent cannot save it. So this throw in is the skill. So what's the, the throw in skill on the bottom side? If black just tries to kill, not working. The only way for black to kill this group is chopping wise stones. Where's the chopping point? This one, is it? Uh -huh. Because you can cut that two stones. And your opponent says, that, okay, I can capture, not working. Then once again, because that is, you know, the only place that you could make this three as the, the different three pieces okay. and then step in, then it's possible to kill. Okay. And this is the last one. Look at the upper right. We would only go for upper right one. Can black save it? If black tries to save inside like this one, then you know it's a that shape. Black plays here, white plays this, so it is a that shape. Is it? And there is only one way that black can uh, save this group. How to chop your opponent's stones, is it? That is the, the theme. The way to save, the only way is this one. You play here and say to your opponent that, oh, I'm chopping your stones. Uh, that oh, this A, B are now separated because I throw it in. Let's say, you know, crazy idea, is it? But here, why place this, then Atari connect, nothing is working. But if Lex throws in to chop it, chop this A and B, then let's say Y captures it, then Black plays this one, which helps to throw in to make the call. So Y need an answer, then Black can save it because Black uses R19 in Sente at one. So after this chop, Y need to go down then you can play this one to chop it again with this throw in. Throw in, throw in. So these three are now separated three pieces. Therefore, black plays this Atari. Okay, so that's working. So the last one, you can see that it is throw in. So these four are the skills, how you can chop your opponent's stones, cut, wedge, pinch, and throw in like this. Okay. So Please take this feeling and use those skills and find it. Okay? I'm sure that this will make your uh, goal even more interesting. Okay? And if you do this, then I'm sure that you can crash your opponent's groups like the you know, Captain America. But, uh, can you see? I don't know whether it's visible. Uh -huh. You know, the Captain America. You can become a go Captain America. Uh -huh. And uh, if you become a better level, then maybe uh, even like this, okay? you just, you know, split it, uh, tear your opponent's stones and uh, win it. Okay. So please uh -huh, use these uh -huh, skills and make your opponent's uh, stones like this logs. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, you will win more games. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. so this is my first lecture and I'm going to have two more schedules, which is the City League Championship, you know, live commentary on the 5th and on the Saturday 8th, I'm going to make the second lecture. I hope to see many of you in my lessons. And also I hope you join all these Congress events. I'm sure that you will enjoy it. Thank you and uh, enjoy, go. Bye-bye.